Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel, I am Paolo Triani and today we're trying an experience that called Ayahuasca Cosmic Trip and that's cosmic with a K. I don't know why anyone's beat up about it because like, you know, I trip out all the time. I'm constantly flipping seeing things that are not there. There's like a flipping rainbow unicorn just over there, you know, right now. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. What was that? Yeah. Jump in. Okay, so this is ex <laughs> telling you basically what uh, this drug does and you know where it's mainly used and etc. Like Peru and the Amazon and etc. Like that, yeah. So I give that a good read. If you're curious, I wouldn't advise you go there and take the drug, even though it's not completely, you know, unsafe compared to something else that would... Wow. The brew is dense. See, uh, one of the reasons why I'm wearing this headset, Better. by the way, is because this is very dark. It's going to be strong. I did it in my flesh when I drank the ayahuasca. Very dark. I should sit. Kestin Betza brought me here into the deep forest. I should sit. I'm not going to sit. I'm here for a special encounter. I feel it. I have to be calm. Focused. Yeah, you see, like the blacks already make a big difference wearing something feel like the this. Could have, uh, the vibe that I had connected at the time. I have to stay focused on the chanting uh, the and the nausea going through my body. Bit to his voice. Tonight, I might go on to the other side and meet the plant spirits. Medicine. Oh, some tricky stuff happening in here right now. I don't think it can be seen right now, it's weird. Oh, it's just so friggin' dark. Even on the my screen right now. It, what the hell? This is all spiders and stuff. Oh, oh no, scorpion spiders? So this has got a level of fear on it that, wow. I'm not liking. It's vibrating around my chest as well, like right now, not my back as much, but my chest. And you've got these snakes and spiders and, oh, this is quite gross. I'm, I'm actually starting to get quite itchy. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's looking pretty, pretty dark, right? I have to lighten it up and post. But yeah, it's, oh yeah. Ooh, it's actually running at 72 FPS. I've got it on medium settings though, not like high, because it's a very demanding game, so. Well, you might be all right in the Rift Death on high, if you've got a 2080 Ti, isn't it? Look at the size of that snake. Oh no, they get really big. Okay. Oh, look, there's the person sitting down. That's supposed to be me. I'm supposed to be sitting down, but. I'm not going to sit down. I'm going to break this out. Oh my god, it looks like ginormous bones going into a hole. Uh, yeah, that looks. <laughs> these snakes are very shiny. For the blacks on this, they're great, both of this. I just think that, uh, I need to get a higher frame rate right now, I don't know, okay, how am I getting 76, I thought this was only 72 or something. 
which is what, about $13 or something, somewhere between euros. Uh, the developers of this were kind enough to offer me a uh, gloomy ice cube, but I've already had it, I've already reviewed it, so check that out. It's stopping inside for you, it's because virtual desktop is not working perfect for me right now. Thinking it's that. It might be fine for you guys, but it's jerking a little bit, it's struggling a little as well, probably. No, it's not struggling at all. I think it's just when it's locked in, yes. for experiences to cost this much from this developer but they are normally quite high quality gleaming eyes is definitely very fantastic but i would suggest that you know if you've got a five point infinity implant on that this is for real that as well but i i got a key i didn't get paid to uh check this out but it's a sort of like never the kind of like wormhole Stop singing. Is really anything that will make me feel better? Dogs are barking. Bark at everything that goes past, so, you know. Uh, wow, this is disintegrating, whatever this is. It is literally, it's just like putting like a bath bomb in your bath. Not that I've ever done that, okay, because I'm not that kind of like, you know, guy. and bath bombs. Holy crap. You know what makes this probably a tad bit worse is that <laughs> this image is being streamed from my gaming uh, PC to my uh, through Ethernet port down my network to my render PC which is recording it. And, uh, and this is also getting streamed across the net, so and the wireless adapter is just up there for Vive as well. So I did get my hands on that. Oh, this is so sci-fi right now. With snakes still, man. This snakes is the common theme right now. I tell you something though, what would happen if you were playing this, or uh, watching this, should I say, because it's an experience. Oh, the snake is ginormous. Um, I've got two snakes upstairs, real ones, corn snakes, but you know, I never really go near them. They're my daughters. We've had snakes before as well, though. I had a snake called Alex, corn snake as well. Long time ago that was. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like imagine if you were actually uh, taking something like shrooms or something like that whilst experiencing this, or the actual drug that this is based on, which I'm pretty much sure you wouldn't be able to because I think it's pretty much a uh, knocks you out of that drug as well. I watched a documentary on uh, the Amazon once and that drug was in it. What the hell was that? I feel like I'm in the justice system still with the uh, snake. If this is the stuff that you experience when you're on the drug, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Jeez. 
The only drug I want is happiness, okay? Everyone can just get on, love life. I'm just constantly going down right now into this snake's, snake's stomach, I think. It's got tapeworm problems, I'm <laughs> thinking. But yeah, what the hell, there's these little holes now on the sides and stuff. Oh, this is just not fun. Oh, it's lovely and out. Okay, I'm just going through uh, three blood vessels and stuff. Alright, we're out, and the snake's asshole is out into the cosmos. If you sit down and actually meditate to this, you, you, you know, if you're not scared of spiders and snakes, because like there's a part of me that was kind of like tense through that quite a bit. But if you're not sort of tense all the way through it, then you could probably experience this in a meditative way. You could probably sit down and uh, you know try to clean your mind of uh, anything and everything, because obviously I think it's past thoughts. It's supposed to be depressing. The future is supposed to be stressing. Stay in the present, and the present means clearing your mind, and just seeing the visual in front of you. It's like they have hands. It kind of gives me the impression of hands at some point. Kind of like just sort of very flat looking cells or stones or chocolate buns. This can trip you out is playing some like Tetris because that's got some real trippy stuff going on in the background of Tetris. The intro of this Tetris is like twice as much money, but at least you've got a game that's well as a trippy experience. But this is just pure cosmic trip right now. Hello, buddy. Oh my god, 
So, does so that mean that we're trip good? This like kills your FPS even at medium on this. Okay, so is he coming back out? And now he knows everything about snakes and spiders and anals, <laughs> pack passages. He's gonna he's gonna do some clonoscopy now with that information he just got. He's like a genius at it. Oh no, Whoa, what's going on? Okay, you look kind of human, but you look... Oh my god, they're shooting beams out of their eyes or mouths or something like What's going on? Oh no, this, is that the snakes? No, it's just like the stuff coming out of their mouths. Oh wow. Okay, so this is a little bit more relaxing because it's not got snakes in it and spiders. Oh wow, track, check that out, I'm getting mummified or something. By that, voices coming out of their mouths. Oh no, I just saw a lizard inside it. On, you know what it looks like? It, it, it kind of looks like webbing around me. With kind of like, sort of, uh, drawings on it, circular drawings. Yeah, there's tiny little reptiles. I'm alright with reptiles, I think. I'm breathing, I heard that. Oh, he's breathing right in my face. What are you doing? Dude, now I'm addicted to nicotine. Again. I've been clean off nicotine for about, like, 15 years. Come on. Don't do it. It was a voice then, but I swear it was in Peru. So. In memory of Oli Oliver, Oliva Arrivola. Sorry, I didn't say that very well. Pancinez Beaker, 1933 to 2018. Well, there you go. There's Ayahuasca Cosmic Trip. And oh my God, it was a trip but it's kind of a horror trip. I mean, there's snakes, spiders. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but it was a bit it's kind of scary in some places for people that don't like that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not too bothered about snakes as much, but you know, the other stuff maybe. But yeah, it was trippy. It is trippy. And I can imagine if somebody was, you know, tripping on something and watching this, they'd die. <laughs> Simple as that, they would just die. <laughs> no, anyway, it's a really nice experience. I don't think it really tops Gloomy Eyes. Gloomy Eyes is definitely better by this developer. I think it's the same developer anyway. Gloomy Eyes is amazing. But this uh, is, is all right, it's not too bad. But does it justify 10 pounds? I'm not entirely sure. It's not super long, as you can see. Um, so you have to justify if you think that an experience is worth that. It is really good quality though, so yes. And it might be definitely better to wear an OLED display when wearing this because it's got some dark areas that, well, some other headsets might, you know, not be able to accomplish very well. Um, the graphics was fantastic, but um, on high settings, it's hard to run on displays that are uh, 1600p and higher. So like the index, etc. So, you know, just be wary of that. Not too bad on medium. A medium is probably a good setting to start with. Um, I think generally though, yeah, I would recommend it. It's pretty good because I enjoyed experiences and I enjoyed this one a lot. If I'm going to be honest with you, it was quite good. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to recover from it, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still kind of like, I don't know why, I, actually, I was quite tense with a lot of the horror parts, but I came out feeling a little bit, um, uh, like, meditated a little bit. It was it was very good. So, yeah, that was pretty good. And I also, if you didn't notice, I did it on the Oculus Quest, because it's the only OLED I've got at the moment, and I used virtual desktop, so if it was stuttering and stuff, sorry about that. But, you know, 
um, it, it wasn't too bad to use that and uh, obviously the blacks were fantastic and you know some wearing this as well but I can't really tell you anything about that yet because I want to wait until I do a first impressions of it uh, this is generally my first impressions that I'm doing right now of the Wuja vest so yeah if you like this video please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the height hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this and leave a comment below of anything you may have seen today or anything you may want to say to me or anything you may just want to get out of your system um, thank you for watching. I love you a long time and ciao.